close up, but yeah. Um, so it's been a while. Um, yeah. So this video is going to be show pickups and then I will go into the like, channel updates and stuff like that. So let's get to it. So show. It was the Western Invert Show, the Sunday just gone. Um, I am actually filming this on the Wednesday after, so hoping this will be up for the Friday. So yeah, the Sunday just gone, it was the Western Invert Show and it was the first one after Covid and uh, it was absolutely mental. The line was ridiculous. I have never seen a line for the Invert Show UK's shows ever that big. The only line I've seen that big is BTS. So it went, which if you've ever been there, it went down the side, around to the car park entrance, down to the road and along the road. So if you've ever been, you know how much of a like wine that is, but Everyone got in, everyone bought things, I think, hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, it was a crazy weekend. And I just want to say thank you to everyone that actually spoke to us, spent time with us. And yeah, it was a really good weekend. And I know I keep saying that, but it was a good weekend. Um, To be honest, I didn't actually see as many YouTubers there as I thought would be there. Um, obviously we saw like Jen, Rob, Tanya. Um, we saw Scanner Exotics, we saw Ian, um, um, Wayne from Stone Circle, we saw that pet page James, um, we saw Greg and Rachel obviously. Um, just think of who else there was. But there were a few people like floating around that like we'd seen but didn't really actually know. So like we smiled at people and yeah. But you know, me being me, I'm not the most approachable person ever, so <laughs> yeah. But um as for pickups, I didn't actually take that much money with me just because of um, personal things that are happening, which is also impacting the channel a little bit we'll be spoke about later. Um, but I spoke to Lee and we sorted some stuff out and I got quite a bit from the spider shop. So... Yeah, I will show you what I've got. Bear in mind the footage is absolutely horrendous. I was filming it with one hand, trying to open everything and show you it with the other hand. So, yeah, don't judge me on that. And everything has been rehoused now and everything's happy, healthy, alive and de-stressed. So, I will show you my pickups and then I will come back. So, these are my pickups from the show. Might actually not look like much right now, but when I go into this box, you will see. So, starting with what I know I bought. Well, we'll start with this one. So, I got Nabori Cola, and I honestly thought that Sidex had rehoused her, and he hasn't. So, she is in here somewhere. 
So let me try and find her out and I will show you her. Well, I found her. <laughs> um, I didn't even poke her, so she's just not a very happy bunny. She didn't seem very happy yesterday to fur in the tub, but um, yeah, she's not happy at all. But she will be getting rehoused later. I'm just literally just doing a video showing you what I've got. So this is a female, confirmed female. And to be fair, I don't think she's fully adult yet. Sorry, sweetheart. But she is an amazing spider and... She's actually a decent size, like she stretched out last night when we were looking. But there we go. Oh, lid's different now. Female. A bow collar. That doesn't very much like me right now, <laughs> of course. And then we got this little guy. So if you know me, you know that I like my jumping spiders and I very nearly caved and got a, a regal again. But let me just show you what he actually looks like. So this is him. He's absolutely stunning. I mean, he's a decent size to be fair. It's just this cup is... A nightmare to get into but I did actually buy an enclosure for him as well um <laughs> I bought a another little enclosure so this is from spiders world no I'm not spiders world it's spiders planet actually and hello I just can't zoom, like, capture his face well enough. But he is, like, the cutest little thing ever. <laughs> Bye. Oh, and there we go. Right, so, back saving your little tub until I can rehouse you in a bit but yeah he just decided to go for a wonder so let's get into this when I've moved it out of the way so I bought this and trying to guess with the name we was thinking maybe dancing earth tigers so i got too excited and opened it while i was at the show <laughs> and this is what i got so i'm so glad that i didn't actually get a regal because i got one in the box where was she i think it's a female hello Here we go. You are so cute too. But that's a decent size as well. I actually feel like that might be male actually. Looking at that butt. But we will find out. But... I now have two jumpers from the show. Mm. 
next it goes to these so when i can focus we got a Huahini. Of course, we got Huahini because the spider shop are overrun by them. And if you know me, I actually don't like these tarantulas. So this has gone to Sidex and to his little shelf. And we also got this as well which I am also not too bothered about. So this has also gone to Sidex and he had not long bought one of these from Portsmouth as well. I don't even know where it is. And I'm just trying to see if that's a crack. Oh, there it is. So he hadn't actually long been and just got one from Portsmouth as well. So... <laughs> But at least he's got two now. And then we went on to the flower mantis, which is adorable. Which is getting hungry. So all these will be getting fed and rehoused later. I'm just, like I said, doing a showing what I got video. And then we went to get this one out of the box so i have two millipedes in here which will be getting again rehoused and these are if you just bear with me a second And I believe they're both female. There is another one in there. The other one likes to um, hide. God, this film is shocking today. There we go. Pop you back in there, please. No, you want to stay in my hand? Just to show you that there is actually two in there. So, yeah. It seems like they're both female. I can't seem to find the segment where the males have no legs. So, and then finally, we got an Egyptian predatory beetle in there. which will be going into my coffin enclosure because there is nothing in that anymore and it was either going to get put into a display thing or something else but this is actually quite ideal for that enclosure so you know But I have actually had one of them before and they were great. So, yeah, so all together I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pickups and technically nine of my own. But, yeah, I pretty much spent every, everything at the spider shop this time. So hopefully in the next shows I will be going other places, but so happy with him. But yeah, I will get some better shots at another day and yeah. So not much, but it's something and yeah, I am actually so happy to have the jumping spiders like if you know me i love the jumping spiders but um when we were there because we we got early access because we was helping with the show and um there were a few things i wish i got but i just couldn't afford everything but there was another hella 
there was another female Hella and I was sat there and I was like, I really want to get her. But also, they're not communal. I don't see the point in getting more than one. Yes, people know me for the little madam here. They know me for the Minaxes. They know me for my black tarantulas. But I had to speak to myself. I sat down. I was like, look, you can't do this. <laughs> but yeah, um, I got the Arboricola. I love the Nigeriums as well, but there was no Nigeriums just the elbow recall but it's fine because she's still stunning and she's still got attitude and she doesn't like me like everything else but yeah <laughs> so as for the channel updates if you have obviously been watching and noticing I haven't been uploading as much as often as I have been recently um so this may end up meaning that my uploads may be random fridays at the minute just because i have got a new job um i work friday saturday sundays i work 10 hour shifts i am a shift manager now at a restaurant so it's a lot of stress and it's a lot of stuff to be dealing with and also I got Sidex a job there as well so he works the days I don't we only have Mondays off together and obviously we're not going to spend that day just filming and editing we're actually going to spend that day as a family doing stuff together so obviously I can't edit and film while I'm at work and obviously filming while I have the girls while he's at work is difficult and also editing is difficult because well pumpkin just wants my phone all the time she's at that age so yeah so if you've noticed that and you have noticed the streams as well the weather streams I'm still part of that I'm just very hit and miss with them at the minute um they all know the situation and they're absolutely understanding about it, which is amazing because like most people are just be like, no, go away. But um, yeah, we're just dealing with things one step at a time for now until we can settle into the new routine and get there, which also ties in with why I didn't have so much money because I just started this job and obviously come off on maternity and money was a bit tight for this show so obviously it impacted what I could get but hopefully if I can get the Sunday after the Bedford show we will be going there um it's only like a couple of hours from here instead of like a four hour drive from here like the um the western show was so hopefully we can make it if i can get the day off um and i'm so i'm so excited because like a lot more people are going to the bedford show and i i just want to see people and feel normal again so yeah so um i suppose that's it i mean you can see by my face I am absolutely shattered like everything is draining me so like I just hope that you can understand why things are either late or not being uploaded I am trying my best to get things up on Instagram more but again it's just finding time for things and unfortunately real life comes before YouTube but the animals don't suffer, don't worry about that. The animals are absolutely fine. It's literally just, we don't have time to sit and film everything. If you do this, you understand what I mean. So like feeding them water and everything is like 10 times quicker than filming it as well. 
because when you're filming and feeding and watering you have to get all the angles you need to make sure you've got everything in shot and it's just an absolute ball ache and especially when you're busy and you haven't got the time for it you just it's a no-brainer so i hope you all understand and i'm sorry that there's been a lack of like content on my channel and i'm so tired like <laughs> but yeah i love you all and thank you for being so patient and i just want to say thank you for everyone at the weekend speaking to us also i don't know the name of the little boy but this little boy in the queue while me and Sidex was going around giving out um wristbands we were helping the queue get shorter we were selling wristbands like halfway down the queue getting people in quicker um this little boy came up to us and told us how much he loved us and how awesome he thought we were we were and it was just it was so cute and i just want to say thank you because you made my day and yeah so i think i've rambled on enough i'm going to leave you <laughs> and hopefully have something for next week i will try my best but i can't promise anything but thank you for sticking around and i love you all